Well, it's a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde story when four doctors from Children's Hospital and one from Abbott Northwestern join together to form a rock band. So hang on to your seats because you've got an appointment with Dr. Rock. <laughs> If you're feeling out of sorts, a touch of the blues, well, this Bob and Band's got a cure for you. It's not bed rest or aspirin they'd prescribe. Instead, music's the medicine they'd like you to try. And they ought to know, because these rockers are doctors with something to show. Do you play the music on the side or down? Maybe someday you'll never feel like singing so shine. If you think your eyes are playing tricks, then just lend an ear, nose, or throat to an expert in the field, lead singer and ENT specialist, Dr. Phil Rapport. Girl, you're so young and pretty. On the uh, weekends, I guess I'm a rock and roll singer. It's kind of like a little vacation for the brain. Operating lead guitar and veteran of music for over 20 years, respected Dr. Robert Coates, internist. Can we get your blood pressure checked, please? Go, go, go. Come on with me, baby. You can bug it too. The man sporting a guitar and dapper pink shades, one of the best pediatric surgeons in town, Dr. Glenn Anderson. And on drums, Mr. Styx, in a chic Hawaiian shirt, established gastrointestinal specialist, Dr. Richard Stafford. And on guitar, the Ayatollah of rock and roll, Dr. Rick Levinson, a well-respected ear, nose, and throat specialist. Put the five of these mid-30s MDs together and you get Dr. Rock, a group that will give you a big chill with some of their favorite oldies. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. Medical musicians? It sounds like a curious combination, but as Dr. Coates explains, the meshing of these two occupations is the best of both worlds. For me, medicine, uh, I enjoy that very much, and, but if I did it all the time, then I wouldn't be as good at it. So music and medicine, it gives me a balance. Uh, what time are we practicing tonight? As in any great so, medical so, discovery, the Dr. Rock so group yeah, was a while in the making. It took almost two years to get the right combo to click. And we did it strictly for fun, absolutely as an outlet and for fun. We all knew the same songs. We all had played the songs in our youth. The four of the five had played professionally in high school and college. And so it was nothing to really learn the oldies because we all knew them to begin with. And we just did it for fun. But we had so much fun with it, we wanted other people to hear us. Doctors and rockers. It's hard to imagine two more opposite occupations. But whether they're prescribing medicine or music, the goal is still the same, to make people feel good. You see, these physicians of feel good don't play just any gig. Most of their performances are benefits, like this one for the Wizard of Oz chapter of the Children's Medical Center. So it's a rare occasion when they toss in their ties and scrap their scrubs and feel about 20 years younger again. Once 
once every few months. I can put on a crazy t-shirt and wear a crazy belt and get up and play rock and roll music and buy clothes that I wear only for that night and that night only and get to be 18 years old again. I mean, what's, what, how can you beat that? We should get a baby now. The crowd's prognosis? This group is just what the doctor ordered. And I find out they're all doctors and they're very good and they're good musicians as well as good singers. It may be just a hobby or a part-time fling, but when you've got an appointment with Dr. Rock, one thing's for sure, their love of music is certainly contagious. You see all this sea of heads because the dance floor is packed, usually and hopefully, and that you see that they no longer think of you as doctors and friends up there, that you're a boogie-woogie dance band. And during that peak of that second set, it's the best drug in the world. Oh, we gotta go. 